fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys, and a little bit of a change of pace. I had a last-minute cancellation, a Saturday night cancellation on a Sunday charter. I knew Doc was fishing with his friends on one of his friends' boat, and they graciously invited me. So I'm fishing with Doc, who you've met before, but a bunch of guys you've probably never seen on these videos. Charlie, Johnny, Dr. Mike, Alex, and regular Mike, not Dr. Mike. And we're fishing Block Island, and on a day where there was literally zero current. I mean, the boat was not moving, no wind nothing to help us basically moving point one to point two this boat does not have a trolling motor and what i found helped me tremendously on this day was using a swing hook bucktail in this case the sns skinner swing hook bucktail and the fast jigging everyone else has a a, a more regular cadence to their jigging and uh, yeah, we had some money on the line on this trip. We had a couple pools going for biggest fish and most keepers. And we'll see in the end how that worked out. But I, for a, a trip where not a lot of keepers were caught, I did okay and I do attribute it. And we'll talk about it as the video progresses to the fact that I was doing the really rapid vertical jigging a la Skinner and using that swing hook tail, which I do believe gives a little more action, especially on days when there's not a lot of current. Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And we'll open the action up with Johnny getting the first keeper on the boat. These storms were from weeks ago up in Vermont that's causing all this. We have, we have. But that was 10 inches of rain in Vermont with all the, all the trees. Need a net, Johnny? Big. It's definitely a blue. Yeah. That's blue. Too short each here. What's the rule of blue? 18 and a half. 25 for you. <laughs> oh, that's a keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Alex is on too. Any good, Alex? Oh, $10. $10 oh, each. And besides the pool for most keepers and uh, biggest fish, we also had a pool for the first keeper. Johnny got that. You heard the $10 there. And uh, yeah, so this drift took about a half hour and we did not move that far. So, you know, we did have the one keeper. We had a lot of short life, a lot of snag fish, always emblematic of a, of a poor drift. The fish are not triggered to bite. And yeah, they, you wind up foul hooking a lot because... My opinion, they they hit it out of instinct, like like as you would swat a fly that's coming near you. Um, you, you know, you're not swatting it to eat it. You're you're just annoyed by it, and you wind up in, in the fluke fishing way of doing it. You wind up file hooking a lot of these. So we reset after about a half hour, and I uh, got very fortunate. The two big fish of the trip on back to back trips. The rod I'm using is the VRC jigging jerks casting charter boat model. It will be available. Uh, it is available, and uh, you'll find a link for it in the description. That's a fluke. When do you get the sport fishermen? When do you get the sport fishermen? No, they won't, they won't work again. Are they done? Oh, yeah, they will. Anything good? You're right. You're Probably. Good fish here, guys. Shh. Mike's got it. Come on, Hal. We need to eat some fish. Hal, you have one. Nice fish, nice fish. It's the wrong net, wrong net, wrong net. <laughs> nice. Nice. Game over. Yeah. Nice, hey. man. nice. 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 Is that what they look like? It's a six pound. You better weigh that thing. <laughs> and yeah, the, the pool for biggest fish and most keepers was a hundred from each man. So a lot of money on the line. We're weighing the fish. This one came in at six pounds, ten ounces. 
going to be the second biggest of the day. Um, the biggest is going to come immediately after I help Mike with uh, the bottom here and then bleed this fish and put it away after we weigh it. Again, same drift, barely moving. I'm doing that very fast, rapid jigging style with the swing bucktail, creating some action and maybe trying to entice them to bite when, again, in my opinion, they're not enticed to bite when the current is so slow, and we'll see what happens. Might be bigger than the first one. He's got a big fish. Stay on, baby. It's got weight. I think this is bigger than the first one, Mike. I think. I'm usually wrong when I say that. Nice fish, up there, right, Mike? Yeah. Come on, Hal. Oh yeah. Oh, stay on, stay on. Ready? Get the net in the water. Is it in? Yeah. Oh, nice one, nice one. That's a nine pound. Uh, that's another that's seven. seven and a half. It might be more. Nice. It might be more. I have more swivels. I don't know where they are, Mike. If those are good. And yeah, not quite seven and a half. The fish came in at seven pounds, four ounces, so seven and a quarter pounds. Uh, wound up being the big fish of the day, which again. Uh, you, you see me taking it out of the net here. I do have that swing hook, that swing hook bucktail on. It didn't hit the swing hook, but it did rip the the gulp off, and then it went after the teaser. I do think that action, when it's really slow, when the drift is not moving quick, really helps entice a bite where you might not get a bite under normal conditions. Valley Hill. I have uh, I have these uh, little. Jerks. They they were hitting gulp last year. Just we didn't have any squid. bait on the boat. Or squid, and I have little gulp. And we caught five or six of them. No, no. You know, no, these are tiny. Mahi. These are chicken. The chicken uh, these are chicken mahi. Yeah, you know, what catches them. Little pieces of squid. I have little jig heads, and you just put the. Oh, oh both of you. Why the hate? Is it good. Right next to me. That's a big. No, it's It's not. It's not bigger than the first two. No, but it's a big fish. Yeah, I don't think it's a big fish. Compared to the Kiriadis fish, this one's huge. I don't even think it's a keeper. That's a keeper, man. Right? No. Yeah. Oh, you're, not going my, you're not going to my spot. Uh, uh, uh. And yeah, breaking out the bleep button. But in everyone's defense, I understand the frustration. I've been there too. There's no drift. No one is catching. We have friends on a very well-known party boat that was fishing this area on this day. That whole boat did pour too. There was just no drift. The, the fish are not triggered to bite. It's like walking past a restaurant when you're not hungry. It doesn't matter how good that food smells, you are likely not stopping in and eating. And that's how my experience over 20 years fluke fishing, what I've noticed, uh, if, they, if that current is not moving, they're not triggered to eat. So we decided to pick up and move, go to a spot where... We've caught fish in the past, and we hoped there'd be more current there, and there was. And I'm breaking out the VRC spinning rod for this one because I'm on the other opposite side of the boat. I'm drifting up current and jigging it back. And uh, yeah, we, we got all the rest of our keepers on two drifts, and I'm going to start it off on the spinner uh, with my fourth keeper of the day. Doc John, what's the scoop there? Oh, there you go. There you go, that's three in a row here. Yeah. Close to my spot, stay where you are. This one's better. Hey Alec, you want to bring a net with you? Oh, where's the net? I got it. Hang on, hang on. Stay on, baby. 
No, don't worry. No, don't worry, don't worry. Get it in the water, I'll slide them in. This feels okay. Feels okay. I don't think it's gonna be bigger than my second one. But it's definitely a keeper. Good job, thank you, buddy. Thanks, Johnny. Nice, that was a nice net. Thank you. He fell deep. Fish. He fell deep on that one. That was decent. What, you just had a good hit? Oh. Charlie, you need a net? I'm here just in case. I see nice head shakes, Charlie. I'm grabbing the net. I'm up anyway. I think that's gonna pass, dude, just based on the head shakes and how you're struggling a little with the reel. Trying to say a leaf over here? Yes. Dude, that's a f keeper. Come on. Swim them in, swim them in. There you go. I didn't think it was that big. Charlie's on the board. Charlie is on the board. Change the f change your rig. Look what happens. Still in the lead with the weight, yes, but you uh, you're on the board. But that's, right. We got a keeper. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You stay down, you stay down. Oh, that's a good one too. Mine's not as big as the other one. It's, okay. It's Charlie, look at the monitor and see where we hit them. You need a net? No. I think Alex's might be bigger than mine. No, one. he's saying no. I see I a lot. We got each other. Pass. That's mine. Oh, that's okay. It's a keeper. There's two. There's another one. That's not a keeper, the bottom one. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's my fish. Yours is not. This might pass. We'll measure yours. It's a keeper. 19, Johnny. And conspicuous without a keeper is Doc. But uh, that's about to change. Again, we're on the second of two very productive drifts at this new spot. And uh, yeah, Doc hooks into one. All right, I'm going to come up. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Just give me the net. I got it. I want to record him. I'm coming. I'm coming. That's what Tina says to him all the time. Oh, it might be a keeper. It is a keeper. Maybe. Now it looks smaller. Now it looks smaller. I please. I am, I am, I am. Yours was 19 on the nose. 19 is good. Hey, we're getting hit constantly. Do we yeah. ever put this net somewhere? Yeah, the feeding. Mike, this fish, yeah. Definitely feeding. And Doc is right there. Definitely feeding. But guess what? Uh, shortly after catching this fish, the current died again. And this was a keeper. We measured it. Um, and that was going to be the last keeper of the trip. But I had a great time with these guys, not just because I want a lot of money from them, uh, but they're truly really great people, excellent fishermen, just tough conditions today. It would have been great to show, you know, 50 keepers caught on this day, but it, alas, the, that, that current just did not cooperate. But I, I tell you what, uh, a few days later, Johnny got out with his family, and oh boy, take a look at this picture. 34 and a half inches and 15.4 pounds after it was bled. Uh, probably closer to 16 pounds before it was bled. Uh, just an amazing fish, a once in a lifetime fish. Congratulations to Johnny and his family. His daughter-in-law actually caught it. Uh, and thank you guys for inviting me on this trip. It was a lot of fun. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.